Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss another problem in complex analysis. This problem is related to conformal mappings. So the problem is you have to find a conformal mapping f from the domain omega onto the unit disk and this conformal map should satisfy this condition. That means 1 should be mapped to 0. Okay, so what is this domain omega? So omega is, uh, you are going to remove these two portions from the complex plane. That means the minus infinity to minus 2, this line segment and this line segment. Okay. So, and you can note that this is a simple, this omega is a simply connected domain. Because if you take any arbitrary closed curve, you can shrink this curve to any given point in this domain. Okay. So this omega is simply connected. This omega is simply connected. So, by the Riemann mapping theorem, we know that a conformal map exists from this domain omega to the unit disk. And this conformal map should satisfy the condition that 1 should be mapped to 0. Okay. Right, so 1 is in the domain omega, so the point 1 is in this domain omega, okay. Right, so what I would do first is, first I would send the point 2 to 0, this point 2 to 0 and minus 2 to infinity, okay. So, for example, if you apply the linear fractional transformation or Mobius transformation defined by 1 over z plus 2, then this minus 2 would go to infinity. And in this case, I would multiply that 1 over z plus 2 by 2 minus z. So then this 2 would be sent, sent to 0. Okay, so for example, suppose you are going to check whether what would happen to the origin. So if you plug 0 instead of z, you would get 1. So that means origin would be mapped to uh, 1 in this case. Okay. For example, if you need to check whether what would happen to 1, you would get 2 minus 1 over 1 plus 2. That would be 1 over 3. Okay. So 1 would be mapped to somewhere there. Okay. Uh, if you need to check whether what would happen to minus 1, if you plug minus 1, you would get 3 divided by 1. Okay, so you would get some point there. Okay, right, so I hope the first map is clear. So I mapped the domain omega to this plane. Okay, so this is the complex plane minus this slit. Okay, this is a slit from minus infinity to origin. Okay. So, right. Now, after I reach this domain, I can use the square root function to get a half plane. Okay. Next, I would apply the square root function given by this, the square root of z. And then what would happen? Then I can fold this domain. For example, suppose you have some complex number there. And what would happen under this square root, trans square root transformation? Suppose argument of this complex number z naught is theta. So what would happen to this theta under this square root of z? This theta would be halved. So argument would become theta over 2. Okay. So and what would happen to the boundary? This is my boundary. If you consider any point on the boundary, its argument would be pi, okay? So pi would become pi over 2. So this boundary domain would become pi over 2 and minus pi over 2, okay? So I'm getting this half plane after I apply this square root function, okay? After I reach the half plane, it's easy to map the half plane to the unit disk, okay? What I would do is I would Consider this point 1. 
actually you can consider any point on this half plane but i would consider point one what would happen to this point one uh, under this transformation h is hz it would go to zero so i am going to map one to zero and then we know that under linear fractional transformations symmetric points would be mapped to symmetric points so what is the symmetric point of this point one point one with respect to the imaginary axis it's gonna be minus one minus one is the symmetric point of one with respect to the imaginary axis okay so minus one should be mapped to symmetric point with respect to origin okay so in this case my boundary is zero so i need to find the symmetric point of the origin with respect to the circle okay so what is the symmetric point of the origin with respect to the circle that should be infinity okay so minus one should be mapped to infinity okay so i should have z plus one on my denominator okay right so now i am in the unit disk now i need to make sure what should happen to the one because my conformal map should map one to zero so let's uh, track the behavior of one under this set of conformal mappings okay so under my first conformal map or first mobius map what would happen to the one one would be mapped to one over three because if you plug one you can notice that you would get one over three so v of one would be one over three and then i would apply the square root transformation so one over three would become one over square root of three then i would apply another linear fractional transformation that maps this half plane to the unit disk so what am i getting is uh, 1 over square root i have 1 over square root of 3 now and 1 over square root of 3 would be mapped to 1 over square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 1 over square root of 3 plus 1 so i would get 1 minus square root of 3 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 so i would get some point there okay right so now you can notice that i have a conformal map that maps the domain omega to the unit disk but it does not satisfy this condition okay because one would be mapped to some point like this okay so what i have to do is i have to apply a disk automorphism and i need to send this point to the origin okay now i'm having this point one minus square root of three divided by one plus square root of three so this is the disk autom automorphism that i'm going to apply okay i hope you are familiar with disk automorphisms i would explain what is meant by disk automorphisms suppose you have unit disk and unit disk okay and suppose you need to send the point z node in the unit disk to the to the origin okay then you can use this map what call it is g of z g of z is equal to c minus c naught divided by one minus z naught bar c okay actually you can apply a rotation also if you'd like but without the rotation if you consider this portion this is the map from unit disk to unit disk that maps the point z naught to the origin okay so in this case i need to map 1 minus square root of 3 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 to the origin so instead of z naught i would use 1 minus square root of 3 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 so what i did was i replaced z naught by 1 minus square root of 3 over 1 plus square root of 3 so since this number is a real number it's 
conjugate is itself so in the denominator also instead of c naught bar i would get the same number so now this map g would send this point to the origin now this now composition of these maps would give me the required transformation okay right so i would write down the composition what is this composition it is the simple fz okay simple fc is gonna be equal to what did i apply first i applied v shy and then i apply h then i applied g okay okay now this map This map if C maps the domain omega onto the unit disk and f of one is gonna be equal to zero. Okay. This is an interesting problem. On conformal mappings i hope you understood what i did and if you have any questions you can mention them in the comment section thank you for watching